We've seen a lot of movies depicting images of the future, using technology for things like buying groceries even, going through the airport, so many other things. And we're talking movies dating back now to the 1980s. Well, go figure, those types of technologies are here. The biggest talker, facial recognition. And John McCulley, senior web developer for Moxley Carmichael here, joins us to talk about this. Good morning, John. Good morning. All right, so why are we talking about in terms of the facial recognition perspective? Well, you're talking about what's currently a $3 billion industry, and that's going to become a $6 billion industry in just four years. In, in what forms? are you talking about? So right now the most common way you see it is with security, law enforcement, and with your Facebook. Okay. Because you know on Facebook it'll recognize your friends in pictures based on their faces mm -hmm. and ask you to tag them, things like that. Mm -hmm. And security cameras can actually read faces and remember faces. Mm -hmm. And law enforcement can use that technology to kind of scroll through pictures and find people. What you're going to see it used for in the future though is coming into an era where it's used for convenience mechanisms. And one of the neatest ways is going to be with airports. So um, when you go into the airport, you'll be able to check your bag just by using your face. So you'll walk up to a facial, facial scanner, it'll take a picture of your face, it'll name some points on your face, and then when you come back to pick up that bag, you'll use your face to get it. Now, are some airports using this now, or is this coming up? This is coming up. Okay. Delta is supposed to be testing this by the end of the summer. Is that right? And then other airports will get it as time goes on. But you know, like we've seen with anything in the airports, if the technology is successful, they'll adopt it quickly. Sure, so, sure. And, and that could filter down then to Knoxville a little bit later on. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Another cool way that it's being used is with teachers to make sure kids are paying attention. No. They can use webcams on computers to measure their face, where they're looking at, and see if they're paying attention to a video lesson. Oh, that's... So, that's so cool. wrong. <laughs> Come on, give me a break and, as if I'm a student, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm... <laughs> no more spitballs. I, how many times did I daydream in class <laughs> and I'm like off in space somewhere? Well, what it'll help teachers do is if you do get off in space, let you know where you did it and what you missed in that lesson. So they'll be able to go back and give you that information, which is very cool. So that's going to be a neat way to use that technology. And wow. then you're going to see it completely move up in other ways. A security cameras like the Nest IQ cam, Okay. Um, which Nest cameras are pretty much everywhere now. You know, you can buy them in any store. Mm -hmm. um, but Nest camera IQ can actually read your face, face when you come into your home to make sure it's you and turn off your security system, open your garage door, things like that. Now, I like that. It's I very like that. That's, interesting. That's, that's, that ramps it up even more to make me feel a little bit more secure in my home. Absolutely, because if a face that it doesn't recognize comes up, it's going to throw yeah. you an alert and let you know that a face wasn't recognized. So wow. it's just going to get to be much, much bigger. You'll see it more with your social media you'll see uh -huh. it more you know and just all your technologies around I think that um, it's a neat technology it's a it's a very cool upcoming technology mm -hmm. but uh, you know people should prepare for what it's going to do sure you sure know, so. the future and that is here right now it and is just man that is something it's very interesting cool. very very From the cool. movies I saw now it's being transformed into our daily lives <laughs> yes John good to see you thank good you so see. much you're very interesting to me every week you bring out something really new and, and, and uh, interesting to thank you thank you